Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to our today's lesson. My name is Mwaneki. Today we are discussing chemistry form 2 and our topic is chemical families. Patterns in properties. Chemical families and patterns in properties. I want to start by all with the objectives for this chapter or what you need to achieve by the end of this chapter. So objectives. By the end of this chapter, a learner should be able to at the end of the chapter the learner should be able to one identify and write Identify and write the electron configuration of alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, halogens, and noble gases. Second, state and explain physical properties. State and explain physical properties of elements. in group one, two, three, sorry, one, two, seven, and eight. State and explain physical properties of elements in group one, two, seven, and eight. The third objective should be able to state and explain trends in reactivity of elements in group 1, 2, 7, and 8. That explain trends and explain trends in reactivity of elements in group 1, 2, 7, and 8. The next objective should be able to explain the similarities in chemical formula of compounds of elements in a group. Explain similarities between compounds of elements in the same group. The next objective should be able to explain the unreactive nature of group 8 elements. Explain the unreactive nature of group 8 
elements. The next objective should be able to identify and write electron arrangement of period 3 elements. Identify and write Identify and write electron arrangement of elements in period 3. And lastly, to be able to state and explain the trends in physical and chemical properties of elements in period 3. State and explain. and explain trends in physical properties of elements, trends in physical properties and chemical properties of elements in period three. And therefore, those are the objectives you as the learner you need to understand or need to have in mind as we move on in this topic. So by the end of this chapter, the learner should be able to one, Identify and write electron configuration of alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, halogens, and noble gases. You should be able to write the electron configuration of the elements in those chemical families as we are going to discuss later. Next, you should be able to state and explain physical properties of elements in group 1, 2, seven and eight. State and explain trends in reactivity of elements in group one, two, seven and eight. Explain similarities between compounds of elements in a group. Explain similarities between compounds of elements in a group. We will see these compounds. The next, explain the unreactive nature of group 8 elements. You see that group 8 elements, they are chemically unreactive. Therefore, we will be able to explain why they are chemically unreactive. Next, you should be able to identify and write electron arrangements of elements in period 3. So identify and write electron arrangement of elements in period 3. I will, I will tell you the elements in period three and then we are going to discuss and be able to write electron arrangement. So in the previous topic we discussed on how to write electron arrangement but we remind ourselves. And lastly should be able to state and explain trends in physical properties and chemical properties of elements in period three. Therefore those are the objectives you need to have as we go by in this topic. The other thing I want us to discuss in this lesson, I want, I want to define three important terms. I want to define the term chemical, term family, and the term chemical families. Now we'll start with the first. The first is chemical, and see that a chemical First is chemical. You see that a chemical is a 
a distinct compound or substance which has been artificially prepared or purified. A distinct compound or substance which especially a distinct compound or substance especially which has been artificially prepared or purified. That is what we call a chemical. The second term, second term is family. And we say that a family is a group of elements with similar chemical properties. A family is a group of elements with similar chemical properties. So these elements have similar chemical properties. And the last term, this term number three, is a chemical family. So that a chemical family is a group of elements with the same number of valence electrons and therefore they are found in the same group. It's a group of elements It's a group of elements with the same number of valence electrons and are therefore in the same group. So when we talk about the valence electrons, valence electrons means the number of electrons in the outermost energy level. Valence is the number of electrons in the outermost energy level. So a chemical family is that group of elements with the same number of electrons in the outermost energy level and therefore if they have the same number of electrons in the outermost energy level they are found in the same group an example when elements have one electron in the outermost energy level those elements are found in group one and we have an example of lithium sodium potassium that all the three elements have one electron in the outermost energy level and therefore they are found in group one so you can say that lithium, sodium, and potassium, that is a chemical family. And that chemical family it has a specific name which we'll be discussing in the next lesson. Therefore, before I end, we have talked about the definition of terms. We have defined three terms. So first term was chemical, and I've seen that a chemical is a distinct compound or substance, especially which has been artificially prepared or purified. Second, I have said we have defined a family and we have said that a family is a group of elements with similar chemical properties. A group of elements with similar chemical properties. So their chemical properties, they need to be similar. And the third term I've said is a chemical family, which is a group of elements with the same number of valence electrons. And I repeat again, I've seen the valence electrons 
These are the number of electrons in the outermost energy level and are therefore in the same group of the periodic table. That brings us to the end of our lesson today. But before, before that, I need to give you an assignment. And this is the assignment. So I have one question. The question is define the following. Define the following terms. P, chemical. P, family. And C, chemical. Chemical family. So ensure that you've done that assignment before you meet in the lesson. Define the following terms. Chemical, second family, and third, chemical family. So when we meet next, we will be discussing the first chemical family, which is the alkali metals. Thank you for participating in the lesson. Meet you in the next lesson. Bye. <laughs>